What's going on? My gamer tag is Kempf, and today in World of Warships we're going to be looking at the Grimyashki. You can't even buy this thing anymore. I bought this ship to get into the closed beta. It's a rank 5 Russian premium destroyer. It was one of the three ships you could you could have purchased uh, during the closed beta to get in, and uh, I managed to get my hands on this little beauty. It was the cheapest of the ships. It came with a month of premium and a bunch of gold. And I've been having a blast with it. Uh, it has its ups, it has its downs, and uh, we'll take a look at that later. But uh, yeah, we're in open beta now. It's been a while since I've, I've put out a video, and that's because really I've just been slowly grinding my way uh, back up the, the tech tree. I've only managed to get to as far as rank 4. Um, with my ships I have a, uh, a rank 4 across the board with my US uh, I have the Phoenix, the Wyoming, the Langley and then with the Japanese I'm still in a mix of threes and fours. I have an Isokaz and I have a Miyogi. Um, I don't really have very very much interest in going down the aircraft carrier line for the Japanese. I just don't really care. Having a lot of fun in the Tenryu. Don't see myself selling that thing anytime soon. So that's where I'm at in World of Warships. But today, we're going to be looking at this little thing, the, Grim the Grim Yashki. I've really grown to love this ship. It, uh, it has its ups, it has its downs. Like I said, she's a tough nut to crack, and uh, she can really dish out, dish out a lot of firepower when you need her to. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and look at the numbers. Well, like all destroyers, the Grim Yashki has no armor, and it has very little health. It has 1,300 hit points to it. 1,300 and... Sorry, 13,000 hit points to it. Man, I can't read. 13,100 hit points to it. Not a whole lot. Um, it is a destroyer. It can't take a whole lot of hits. But I found her to be a little bit more durable than most other destroyers that I played. Maybe it's just because it's Russian. <laughs> I, I don't know. But nevertheless, uh, she's a tough old ship. The guns is really where you start to run into problems. Uh, there's four of these 130 millimeter guns all over the ship. And they pack, they pack a pretty decent wallop. You'll do a maximum of 1,900 hit points with the high explosive shells and a maximum of 2,500 hit points with the armor penetrating shells. They have a range of 11.9 kilometers, which isn't, isn't that bad. Um, and at the dispersion rate of 104 meters, not that bad in itself. The main problem that it runs into is that it has a traverse time of 36 seconds. So you got a whole minute and six seconds to traverse these guns from port to starboard which uh, really really is where the ship suffers uh, you have to sort of use it as a torpedo boat and well let's look at that now too the Grimyashki has two of these uh, three uh, launching or three three torpedo launching tubes um, 39 39-u type torpedoes uh, which you know I don't know shit about torpedoes so I don't know what if that number means anything to anybody out there but um it has two launchers which is you know pretty standard uh, firing a spread of three so you get a spread of six torpedoes going out which is pretty good um, they have a reload time of 69 seconds so about a minute reload time on that which uh, will be affected by different modules and upgrades you put on the ship um, so torpedoes aren't bad. Their uh, speed of 55 knots, which uh, isn't that great, but it isn't that bad either. And they have, they have a pretty good range of 8 kilometers. Uh, so all in all, it's a pretty average, I would say, uh, torpedo-capable ship. What you really got to look at, though, is your surface detectability range of 7 kilometers. So you will be able to launch your torpedoes before the enemy even knows that you're there which is critical. That's something that you do not get in American destroyers. That's like a Japanese only thing. Uh, so that's really good to see that you'll be able to, to shoot torpedoes before the enemy even knows you're there uh, from the surface. But uh, that tactic doesn't always work out so well in practice. Alright, this is going to be an interesting match. We have a couple tier 7s in Atlanta, some Yokos, what really worries me is that Tier 7 Colorado, ugh, we only have some New Yorks. Five New Yorks, which really, or sorry, three rank five New Yorks, which excel at 
long-range combat more so than other battleships, but I, I don't know much about a Colorado. I know a little about the, the New Mexico, not a whole lot about that Colorado. Uh, the Cleveland can shred me pretty... Pretty much everything on the enemy team can shred me pretty, pretty good. So, let's see what my team is doing. It looks like they are all, for the most part, heading west. Now, I have a detectability range seven kilometers as I pointed out so I gotta make sure I don't cross that threshold I'm gonna see if I can sneak a capture here of C and get the hell out of there before anyone really knows I'm there if I angle my ship right I can uh, get my torpedoes out um, and then just kinda peel out like a drive-by style so we'll see what we can do, but let's take a look at the turn radius or the turning speed on th these guns. Very, very slow. <laughs> so, one thing, a little tip I picked up is uh, if you know roughly what direction your enemy is go going to be in, uh, kind of get your guns. You go. You could always do Control X and have your guns fixed on a relative position. I don't like doing that. I usually uh, just kind of point them where I want them to be and then just right click and. Um, look around the map that way. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna just kinda nudge our way in here. Go to full stop. We are capturing C. That's good. Doesn't look like there's any enemies nearby. We have a what is that? An Atlanta heading up into the straits behind us here. Just gonna nudge forward here a little bit. Got an Omaha up there. Stop! Don't leave the cap circle. You know, that Omaha, it looks like that might be the only ship down here. And I fancy our odds if we, uh, if we lure him into the street, we can, uh, pop out here and put these torpedoes to good to use. We have a Cleveland, though. That's going to be our primary target, that Cleveland. If she does come down the straight, that is. Looks like they're both turning. Man, that is annoying. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that Cleveland's turning. So we'll just kind of observe this. Through the power of post-production, I can edit all this out. But we'll see what that Cleveland does. I don't want to take any hits unnecessarily. And 8 kilometers is a pretty long range for torpedoes. That is a long way for them to go. Um, there's a reach their target. It looks like the other ship is coming back out. We're gonna go for it. I'm gonna follow the, follow this Atlanta. Try to back her up. She's taking a lot of hits. This is going against my better judgment, but hey. Our team has taken the lead. We're under five kilometers, four kilometers. Drop a smoke screen. I've been detected. Smoke generator started. Pop all of our cooldowns full speed. Ah, oh, they hit my engines right Engine off the bat. Activated. Main turret. Problem solved, sir. Torpedoes out. I've lost sight of the enemy. Got one hit. Screen looks like. Set. So yeah, could have been worse. Could have been. Uh, could have been better. But that's all right. Any battle we can walk away from is a battle we won. Hey! I <laughs> don't know how that happened, but... Alright, I'll take it. Must have suffered flooding, I guess? What was that? That was the Omaha, so that Cleveland is still over there somewhere. I'm not going to stick around and find out. We do hold C, and I am completely on my own over here. So we're going to rejoin the rest of the fleet. And uh, see if we can put ourselves to use in the background. somewhere else. Can't really leave that that Miyogi all by himself though. If that uh, that Cleveland does come down the straight, 
and looks like they are capturing C. Uh, that's all right. I'm already already uh, halfway to B, so I'm just going to carry on my course here. Wait for my cooldowns to finish charging up and, and such. Wow, so we found the enemy fleet. Looks like they're really making a big push for A. Looks like the majority of their team's over there. Good God, looks like the majority of our team is down around this, this uh, cape down here. C's been captured, A's been captured, I need to get B. I've been detected, there's a destroyer out here somewhere. This is not, definitely not the airplanes. There he is. So let's see if we can get our guns around. It is a Minikaze, so... Good hits. They do reload very quickly, though, which is, uh... <laughs> Excellent. For a destroyer, the guns on this thing are very powerful. Um, they will make mincemeat out of other destroyers, as you just witnessed, but, uh... You know, they're very... They're Russian. They're slow. They're powerful. We're capturing A. They're slow, they're powerful. Um, they do the job. But like I said, their main drawback is that uh, that turn radius. If you uh, find yourself unexpectedly engaged from an angle that you're not prepared to be engaged from, uh, you're going to be in a world of hurt. And I need to cover a lot of ground here quickly. That uh, that Cleveland is about to is about to turn the corner here, and I am opening fire because I am I'm going to be detected anyways. Remember, eight kilometer detection range. He is swiveling his guns, but it looks like he found himself a bigger target. Five kilometers looks okay. Looks like he's turning, though. Oh, man, I am taking hits. This because Cleveland's going to shred me here. And there's no way I'm going to get my torpedoes reloaded in time. So, unfortunately, that's going to be it for the Grenashki in this battle. The Cleveland proving to be more than a worthy match. Oh, I was hoping to get a ram off. Damn you, Cleveland. Damn you. Just a quick video today. Wanted to show you guys the ship and uh, what she can do. And uh, didn't really have a whole lot of good battles to pick from. It was a, it was a tough night in, in World of Warships. So... Thank you guys for watching. Give it a like down below if you liked it. Comment if you have a comment or a question for me and all that jazz. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care.